welcome to my channel my name is Joan Osis thank you so much for clicking on today's video today's title of the video is how to record and edit your videos like a pro so I'm gonna be giving you tips on how to make your videos look professional how to make your videos look grand just a couple of things that you need to improve your video quality things you can be focusing on when you are recording your videos so if you are interested in that please keep on watching this video and also if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and if you are returning please make sure your post notifications are on because i am going to be posting new videos every week all right, so enough of that chitter chatter chatter. We are going to get into this video. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. Say it again. Okay, we are gonna get into this video. So, yeah, let's go. So, I think before you get into any editing, before you get into what type of videos to start posting, before you get into anything, you need to have a proper setup. Now, setup can differ depending on what type of videos you make. For example, if you're a vlogger, you don't really need a setup because you'll have your camera up and you'll be recording and you'll be walking around and you'll be going to different places. So, you do not need a setup for that. However, if you're a vlogger, you do need to know different angles you do need to know how to handle your camera you need to know what device you're using you need to familiarize yourself with the device you are using for example i am using my canon eos m10 and throughout the years i've gotten quite familiar with my camera and i know whenever i do this this happens i do just have a problem with the autofocus on this camera that's the only thing i have a problem with but when it comes to lighting and all that stuff I have it so get to know your camera first you need to know what you you need to know what device you're using if you're using an iphone the back camera is way better than the front camera but you do want to see yourself right so you need to know how to hold your phone how which angle best fits you personally because for me this angle best fits me for other people let me show you for other people probably zoomed in fits them or a different angle like a, a, a slight tilt let me show you let me show you what i mean when i talk about the tilt some people like this tilt sometimes you could look good in this tilt and they feel comfortable talking up and looking up like this all right and maybe it could be like this that they speak like this you know just familiarize yourself with your camera for me looking straight into camera best suits me i feel comfortable with it with this camera it could change with another camera or whatsoever but with this camera i'm comfortable so another secret hack like it's very secret because i don't see many people talk about this and remember how i tell you guys that you need to familiarize with your camera now with my camera as you can see it doesn't blur the background kind of like really but when i zoom in on my face let me just move back a little and zoom zoom in on my face don't look at my makeup don't judge me when i zoom in on my face as you can see it's blurry in the background and the quality is really really good so this is a soup this is this is a secret you guys have to subscribe to my channel right now subscribe to my channel right now because i shared the secret with you guys <laughs> but it's something i've realized with my camera and it's something that i observed with watching other professional youtube channels professional meaning they have the full camera equipment they would have the camera equipment up front and they would sit towards the back and then they would zoom in like they would zoom in i would wonder they're probably using like some expensive eyes dog hair on my lips you guys <laughs> I would wonder like are they using this grand camera that zooms in on your face by itself so this is a secret and i hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so the more you zoom the more focused the background is 
as you can see so your videos look high quality you can zoom in on my face you can see all my flaws but the background is blurry obviously this angle looks ugly so i'll have to move back Ooh, do you see what i'm talking about the background is blurry now i have my camera focused on this like where i'm pointing my hand that's the focus part that's where it's going to focus so if i move out of frame my face well yeah as you can see yeah my face is not focusing that middle part right there it's a focus point so back to me yeah see what i mean yeah now you can have professional high quality <laughs> looking videos don't mind me i'm just shifting on my chair okay that's the biggest tip that i can share with knowing your camera so that's number one know your camera know what device you're recording on it's very very important the other thing you need to have is good lighting honestly nobody wants to watch a video with bad lighting like we want to see you you know we, we, we'd like to see all your features when we're watching a video like me you you can see everything you can see all my flaws you can see the edges that's not properly laid like you can see everything and that's okay it helps make your videos look professional and high quality when they are crisp and clear so for lighting i use a ring light and i'm just going to record with my phone okay this is my setup right now this is not my permanent setup but it's just like a setup i have my laptop there and just a mirror in case i want to like quickly look at myself and this is my camera and this is the ring light that i have let me just show you that's what i use now you're gonna be like well you have a ring light and you are sitting in front of the window like what's the purpose of the ring light for me personally i can adjust the saturation the tone as you can look close it's like pink around and then you'll see some orange some yellowish orange and then you can see my white light that's a combination that's perfect for my skin tone that's what i like to use specifically for my skin tone what i do also is i color correct on my editing app and that's just like extra things but for this like i like this if you do not have a ring light Boo, do not worry you don't need a ring light yeah you don't need a ring light you don't need that fancy stuff yet you can buy those stuff if you're gonna take youtube serious if you're gonna take filming serious then you can buy that stuff if you can't afford it if you can't buy it i'll show you an alternative so what you can do is you can set in front of a big wide window like natural light i never had a ring light like beginning of my videos and i would record my videos like around mm, four or five which gave me like unstable lighting because of the sun setting you would see in the beginning of my videos it would be so bright and then towards the end of my video it would it'd be so dark so you need to know the time you record your videos right now it's nine 29 i am a dedicated babe i woke up early i did my makeup i did all my setup and my setup is small i will get other equipment when once the cha-ching falls <laughs> in so it's 9 29 so 9 30 i woke up early for you guys and this is around about the best time to catch the light to start recording your videos so let me show you how it looks without my ring light this is the lighting without my ring light and like i told you you can set in front of big windows big 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 windows so i emphasize on having big windows and i don't know why but you do not need big windows you honestly just need a window that's it <laughs> so this is it this is the quality you're gonna get if you sit in front of a window and it's not that big of a deal it's like more softer tones you know it's not that harsh there's no strong saturation it's just soft like minimal but yet professional so this proves that you do not need a ring light i'm just using it because i love the whole tone as you can see 
my tone is changed. I'm a cute boo. Aren't I? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that is all about lighting. So a tip that I can give you when recording your videos is make sure your background is not too busy, meaning there are not so many distractions in the background, especially if you have a sit down channel where you sit down and talk and you want people to listen to you. Don't have too much busy things in the background because yo my attention span is really short so and you don't need to have like a clear white background or a clear pink background you don't need to but it does make your videos look professional but what i realized that helps also is sitting okay this background is not so there's nothing happening but if i were to put maybe fairy lights fairy lights are very underrated they do a massive difference in your videos like if i would have some fairy lights or some plants like a decorative plant somewhere there or i don't know like a shelving there or something like that like that helps with your videos that makes you look professional and makes you look cute but honestly it's up to you you don't need those stuff but those are just like some tips that can help you know spice up your videos and make sure your background is neat and clean okay please <sighs> that's very very important i think that's about it when it comes to like the setup and the camera and the lighting and everything all right so now we can start with the editing part of this video whatever editing software you're using you can use the number one thing that you want to do to make your videos look professional to make your videos look polished to make your videos stand out to make your videos seem comfortable for the viewer that's watching is to cut out all the unnecessary nonsense man like just just cut it out i'm gonna give you an example so this is me and I'm going to talk about a topic as a full-time student some, as a full-time student in blah, blah, blah. as a full-time student I get morning classes and sometimes I forget to charge my phone the night before but I but all you need to do but all you need to do is so that's how it looks like when you don't cut out any part when you just leave it just like that just as it is and this is how it looks like when you cut out the parts as a full-time student i get morning classes and sometimes i forget to charge my phone the night before but all you need to do is all the gaps all the spaces all the ums all the parts where you're thinking you can cut out those mistakes cutting unnecessary rubbish they don't make sense it's so important and to spice up your videos to make your videos look cute to bring in your character into your editing you can use transitions you can use different effects you can use overlays lots of beauty gurus use overlays you know when they're like so like i told you you can bring in your personality into editing whatever you like you like colors adding colors in your video represent yourself in your videos okay because one you can do the talking you can you know be all fun and cool and stuff and the other thing you can add in more effects and you know titles and all that stuff just to finalize your personality and once you post it they'll be like yes this is joe and osi's video this is what i like to watch and background music is so underrated like oh, 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 oh. i like background music i love to have background music you know why because background music can change your video if you don't know how background music can change your video taste this out okay i'm gonna have this cup and i'm gonna talk about a sad story <sighs> so that saturday night i went to my friend's house and um it was just so scary because i saw this guy and i couldn't look at him in his eyes what am i saying <laughs> okay have that clip and add zero effect that's how it looks right now add some music add some effects background sounds even sound can also be one thing so just add that and watch the clip so that saturday night i went to 
my friend's house and um it was just so scary because i saw this guy and i couldn't look at him in his eyes big difference right so background music background sounds can make you manipulate how the person sees your video you know that's why with like all these horror movies they're not even scary they just have the correct music <laughs> especially when like the ghost comes and it's like boom you know it's just like all sad and then bah. obviously if you come to me like everything's quiet and i hear a sound out of the blue like pop i'll get scared like use background music but not too loud not too noisy make sure it fits with the mood you're trying to set off to your audience that's my it for this video like i say if you want to know more if you want me to tell you more about the things that i know about the things i learned throughout my youtube journey let me know <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below and also with everything that's happening in the world right now I just want to be the light in your life. I just want to make you feel happy and I just want you guys to also keep on praying because it's very very important to pray during times like this. I hope that everything is well with you guys. Remain in Christ, remain in truth because the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm true so yeah make sure you guys click on that subscribe button if you aren't already all right thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys have a gorgeous awesome wonderful day yeah.